Welcome, Lord Stark. Grand Meister Pycelle has called a meeting of the small council. The honor of your presence is requested. Get the girls settled in. I'll be back in time for supper. Jory, go with them. Yes, my lord. If you'd like to change into something more appropriate. you're here, Stark. About time we had some stern northern leadership. Glad to see you're protecting the throne. Sturdy old thing. How many king's houses have polished it, I wonder? And what's the line? The king shits and the hand wipes. Very handsome armor. Not a scratch on it. <laughs> People have been swinging at me for years, but they always seem to miss. Chosen your opponents wisely, then. I have an act for it. Must be strange for you, coming into this room. I'm standing right here when it happened. It was very brave, your brother, and your father too. I didn't deserve to die like that. Nobody deserves to die like that. But you just stood there and watched. Five hundred men just stood there and watched. All the great knights of the Seven Kingdoms, you think if anyone said a word, lifted a finger? No, Lord Stark. Five hundred men, and this room was silent as a crypt. Except for the screams, of course. And the Mad King laughing. And later, when I watched the Mad King die, I remembered him laughing as your father burned. It felt like justice. Is that what you tell yourself at night? You're a servant of justice. That you were avenging my father when you shoved your sword in Ares Targaryen's back. Tell me, if I stabbed the Mad King in the belly instead of the back, would you admire me more? You served him well. And serving was safe. Grievously sorry to hear of your troubles on the King's Road. We are all praying for Prince Joffrey's full recovery. Shame you didn't say pray for the butchers, son. Rayleigh, right, you're looking well. And you look tired from the road. I told them this meeting could wait another day, but. But we have a kingdom to look after. I've hoped to meet you for some time, Lord Stark. No doubt Lady Catelyn has mentioned me. She has, Lord Baelish. I understand you knew my brother Brandon as well. All too well. I still carry a token of his esteem. From navel to collarbone. Perhaps you chose the wrong man to duel with. Well, it wasn't the man that I chose, my lord. It was Catelyn Tully. A woman worth fighting for. I'm sure you'll agree. I humbly beg your pardon, my lord Stark. Grand Meister. How many years has it been? You were a young man. And you served another king. Oh, how forgetful of me. This belongs to you now. Should we begin? Without the king? Winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. <clears throat> His grace has many cares. He entrusts some small matters to us that we might lighten the load. We are the lords of small matters here. My brother instructs us to stage a tournament in honor of Lord Stark's appointment as Hand of the King. Hmm, how much? 40,000 gold dragons to the champion, 20,000 to the runner-up, 20,000 to the winning archer. Can the treasury bear such expense? I'll have to borrow it. The Lannisters will accommodate, I expect. We already owe Lord Tywin 3 million gold. What's another 80,000? Are you telling me the crown is 3 million in debt? I'm telling you the crown is 6 million in debt. How could he let this happen? The master of coin finds the money, the king and the hand spend it. I will not believe John Arryn allowed Robert to bankrupt the realm. Lord Arryn gave wise and prudent advice, but I fear his grace doesn't always listen. Counting coppers, he calls it. 
I'll speak to him tomorrow. This tournament is an extravagance we cannot afford. As you will, but still, we'd best make our plans. There will be no plans until I speak to Robert. Forgive me, my lords. I'm... I had a long ride. You are the king's hand, Lord Stark. We serve at your pleasure. Ow, please, it's nearly healed. It's ugly. A king should have scars. You fought off a direwolf. You're a warrior, like your father. I'm not like him. I didn't fight off anything at Bidney, and all I did was scream. And the two Stark girls saw it, both of them. That's not true. You killed the beast. You only spared the girl because of the love your father bears her father. I didn't, I... When Aerys Targaryen sat on the Iron Throne, your father was a rebel and a traitor. Someday, you'll sit on the throne and the truth will be what you make it. Do I have to marry her? Yes. She's very beautiful and young. And if you don't like her, you only need to see her on formal occasions and when the time comes to make little princes and princesses. And if you'd rather fuck painted whores, you'll fuck painted whores. And if you'd rather lie with noble virgins, so be it. You are my darling boy and the world will be exactly as you want it to be. Do something nice for the star girl. I don't want to. No, but you will. The occasional kindness will spare you all sorts of trouble down the road. We allow the Northerners too much power. They consider themselves our equals. How would you handle them? I double their taxes and command them to supply 10,000 men to the royal army. The royal army? Why should every lord command his own men? It's primitive. No better than the hill tribes. We should have a, a standing army of men loyal to the crown, trained by experienced soldiers instead of a mob of peasants who've never held pikes in their lives. And if the northerners rebel? I'd crush them. Seize Winterfell and install someone loyal to the realm as warden of the north. Uncle Kevin, maybe. And these 10,000 northern troops, would they fight for you or their lord? For me, I'm their king. Mm -hmm. You just invaded their homeland, asked them to kill their brothers. I'm not asking. The North cannot be held. Not by an outsider, it's too big and too wild. And when the winter comes, the seven gods together couldn't save you and your royal army. A good king knows when to save his strength. And when to destroy his enemies. So you agree? The Starks are enemies. Everyone who isn't us is an enemy. Enough of that, young lady. Eat your food. I'm practicing. Practicing for what? The prince. I oh, stop. He's a liar and a coward. He killed my friend. The hound killed your friend. The hound does whatever the prince tells him to do. You're an idiot. You're a liar, and if he told the truth, Mike would be alive. Enough! What's happening here? I would rather act like a beast than a lady. Go to your room. We'll speak later. As for you, love. The same doll maker makes all the Princess Marcella's toys. Don't you like it? I haven't played with dolls since I was eight. May I be excused? Oh, you've barely eaten a thing. It's all right. sword is that? Mine. Give it to me. I know this maker's mark. This is Micken's work. Where did you get this? This is no toy. Little lady shouldn't play with swords. I wasn't playing. And I don't want to be a lady.
What do you want with this? It's called Needle. Mm, I believe with the name. And who were you hoping to skewer with Needle, your sister? Do you know the first thing about sword fighting? Sticking with the pointy end. <laughs> That's the essence of it. trying to learn. I asked my kids to practice with me. I asked him. It was my fault. Oh, sweet girl, no, no. You didn't kill the butchers, boy. I hate them. I hate all of them. The Hound, the Queen and the King, and Joffrey and Sansa. Sansa was dragged before the King and Queen and asked to call the Prince a liar. So was I. He is a liar. Shh, darling, listen to me. Sansa will be married to Joffrey someday. She cannot betray him. She must take his side, even when he's wrong. But how can you let her marry someone like that? Look at me. You're a Stark of Winterfell. You know our words. Winter is coming. You were born in the long summer. You've never known anything else. But now winter is truly coming. And in the winter, we must protect ourselves. Look after one another. Sansa is your sister. I don't hate her. Not really. I don't want to frighten you. But I won't lie to you either. We've come to a dangerous place. We cannot fight a war amongst ourselves. Go on. It's yours. I can keep it. Try not to stab your sister with it. If you're going to own a sword, you better know how to use it. stories. I could tell you about Sir Duncan the Tall. Those were always your favourites. Those weren't my favourites. My favourites were the scary ones. Oh, my sweet summer child, what do you know about fear? Fear is for the winter, when the snows fall a hundred feet deep. Fear is for the long night, when the sun hides for years and children are born and live and die, all in darkness. That is the time for fear, my little lord, when the white walkers move through the woods. Thousands of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. Kings froze to death in their castles, same as the shepherds in their huts. And women smothered their babies rather than see them starve, and wept and felt the tears freeze on their cheeks. So is this the sort of story that you like? In that darkness, the white walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms, riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. What are you telling him now? Only what the little lord wants to hear. Get your supper, I want some time with him. Time she told me the sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue eyed giant named Macumba. Maybe we do. How do you feel? You still don't remember anything. Run. I've seen you climb a thousand times in the wind, in the rain. A thousand times. You never fall. I did, though. True, isn't it? What Mr. Lewin says about my legs. I'd rather be dead. Don't ever say that. I'd rather be dead. Your eyes back 
Thank you, my lady. Still too many. It's nine years since I set foot in the capital, and no one knew who I was the last time I came either. My lady. Welcome to King's Landing, Lady Stark. Would you mind following us? I would. We've done nothing wrong. We've been instructed to escort you into the city. Instructed? I don't know who's providing your instructions, but... Follow me, Lady Stark. Sir Jamie, the jousting, as any sane man would, when the Knight of the Flowers unseated him. I lost this dagger. To whom? Tyrion Lannister, the imp. Stark, 
Tempers. Quick tempers. Slow minds. Broke my nose, busted. Listen to proof. I wonder if they'd find you before the wolves did. What you looking at, Halfman? I'm looking at you. Yes. You've got an interesting face. Mm. Very distinctive faces. All of you. What do you care about our faces? It's just... I think they would look marvellous decorating spikes in King's Landing. Perhaps I'll write my sister, the Queen, about it. We'll talk later, lads. No. Everybody knew what this place was, and no one told me. No one but you. My father knew, and he left me to rot at the wall all the same. Gren's father left him too, outside a farmhouse when he was three. Pip! was caught stealing a wheel of cheese his little sister hadn't eaten in three days. He was given a choice, his right hand or the wall. I've been asking the Lord Commander about them. Fascinating stories. They hate me because I'm better than they are. It's a lucky thing. None of them were trained by master at arms like your Sir Rolick. I don't imagine any of them have ever held a real sword before they came here. Oh. Your brother Bran. He's woken up. The mere suggestion that the Queen's brother tried to kill your boy would be considered treason. We have proof. We have the blade. Which Lord Tyrion will say was stolen from him. The only man who could say otherwise has no throat, thanks to your boy's wolf. Peter has promised to help us find the truth. He's like a little brother to me, Ned. He would never betray my trust. I'll try to keep you alive for her sake. A fool's task, admittedly, but I've never been able to refuse your wife anything. I won't forget this. You're a true friend. Don't tell anyone. I have a reputation to maintain. How could you be so stupid? Calm down. He's a child. Ten years old. What were you thinking? I was thinking of us. You're a bit late to start complaining about it now. What has the boy told him? Nothing. He said nothing. He remembers nothing. Then what are you raving about? If it comes back to him. He tells his father what he saw. We'll say he was lying. We'll say he was dreaming. We'll say whatever we like. I think we can outfox a ten-year-old. Then my husband. I'll go to war with him if I have to. They can write a ballad about us. The war for Cersei's cunt. Let me go. Let me go. The boy won't talk. And if he does, I'll kill him. Him and Stark, the king. I could see the girls. It's too dangerous. Just for a moment. Until we know who our enemies are. I know they did it, Ned. The Lannisters in my bones, I know it. The little finger's right. I can't do anything without proof. And if you find the proof? Then I bring it to Robert. And hope he's still the man I once knew. You watch yourself on the road, huh? That temper of yours is a dangerous thing. My temper? <laughs> Gods be good. You nearly killed her little finger yesterday. <laughs> he still loves you. Does he?
first. Of course, Your Grace. Who was it? That's a Roshi. Never learned the name. Mm. How do you do it? Lance through the heart. Quick one. Lucky for you. Mine was some tarly boy at the Battle of Summer Hall. My horse took an arrow, so I was on foot slogging through the mud. He came running at me, this dumb, high-born lad, thinking he could end the rebellion with a single swing of his sword. I knocked him down with the hammer. God, I was strong then. Caved in his breastplate. Probably shattered every rib he had. Stood over him, hammer in the air. Right before I brought it down, he shouted, Wait! Wait! They never tell you how they all shit themselves. They don't put that part in their songs. Stupid boy. Now the Tarleys bend the knee like everyone else. He could have lingered on the edge of the battle with the smart boys, and today his wife had been making him miserable, his sons would be ingrates, and he'd be waking three times in the night to piss into a bowl of wine. Lancer. Gods, what a stupid name. Lancel Lannister. Who named you? Some half-wit with a stutter. <sighs> what are you doing? It's empty, Your Grace. What do you mean it's empty? There's no more wine. Is that what empty means? So get more. Tell your cousin to get in here. Kingslayer! Get in here! Surrounded by Lannisters. Every time I close my eyes, I see their blonde hair and their smug, satisfied faces. Must wound your pride, oh, standing out there like a glorified sentry. Jamie Lannister, son of the mighty Tywin. Forced to mind the door while your king eats and drinks and shits and fucks. So come on. We're telling war stories. Who was your first kill, not counting old men? One of the outlaws in the Brotherhood. I was there that day. You were only a squire, 16 years old. You killed Sam and Toyn with the counter repast. Best move I ever saw. Good fighter, Toyn. But he lacked stamina. You're outlaw. Any last words? I cut his head off somehow. What about Aerys Targaryen? What did the Mad King say when you stabbed him in the back? I never asked. Did he call you a traitor? Did he plead for a reprieve? He said the same thing he'd been saying for hours. Burn them all. That's all you're great. Dothraki buy their slaves? The Dothraki don't believe in money. Most of their slaves were given to them as gifts. From whom? If you rule a city and you see the horde approaching, you have two choices. Pay tribute or fight. An easy choice for most. Of course, sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes a Carl feels insulted by the number of slaves he's given. You might think the men too weak or the women too ugly. Sometimes a Carl decides his riders haven't had a good fight in months and need to practice. Gosh, go, go, dear, this... <laughs> Tell them all to stop. You want the entire horde to stop? For how long? 
Until I command them otherwise. You're willing to talk like a queen. Not a queen. A Khaleesi. morning. You're leaving? I'm the first range. The job is out there. There have been disturbing reports. What kind of reports? God, I don't want to believe. I'm ready. I won't let you down. You're not going. You're no ranger, John. 
but I'm better than every you other no one. Here, a man gets what he earns, when he earns it. We'll speak when I return. the strangest thing you've eaten. Do Dornish girls count? <laughs> <laughs> so, you roam the Seven Kingdoms, collaring pickpockets and horse thieves and bringing them here as eager recruits. Aye. Why, well, it's not all of them's done bad things. Some of them's just poor lads looking for steady feed. Some of them's high-born lads looking for glory. A better chance finding feed than glory. Nice watch to choke to you, is it? Is that what we are, Lannister? An army of jesters in black. We don't have enough men to be an army, and aside from your in here, none of you are particularly funny. I hope we provided you with some good stories to tell when you're back in King's Landing. But it's something to think about while you're drinking your wine down there. Enjoying your brothels. Half the boys you've seen training will die north of the war. Might be a wild exact to get some. Might be sickness. Might just be the cold. They die in pain. And they do it. So plump little laws like you can enjoy their summer afternoons in peace and comfort. Do you think I'm plump? Listen, Benjamin, may I call you Benjamin? Tell me what you like. I'm not sure what I've done to offend you. I have great admiration for the Night's Watch. I have great admiration for you as first ranger. You know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts. But I don't believe that giants and ghouls and white walkers are lurking beyond the wall. I believe that the only difference between us and the wildlings is that when that war went up, our ancestors happened to live on the right side of it. You're right. The wildlings are no different from us. A little rougher, maybe. But they're made of meat and bone. I know how to track them and I know how to kill them. It's not the wildlings giving me sleepless nights. You've never been north of the wall, so don't tell me what's out there. You're going below. Keep well, keep warm. Enjoy the capital. Oh, I always do. starting to like me. <laughs> Going below. Aye. Into the tunnel and out the other side. He'll be north of the wall for a month or two. So, you're heading down to King's Landing too? Aye. Day after tomorrow. I get about half of my recruits from their dungeons. Let's share the road. I could use some decent company. I, uh... I travel a bit on the grubby side, my lord. Not this time. We'll be staying at the finest castles and inns. No one turns away a Lannister. At Jaka. At Jahaka. At Jahaka. At Jahaka. At Jahaka. Yes, Kadisi. <laughs> what are you doing? When was last time you bleed, Khaleesi? You change, Khaleesi. Me ashasava vesufu. For a man on horseback, the curved blade is a good thing. Easier to handle. It's a good weapon for a Dothrak hand. But a man in full blade, sorry, Tawako. The Arag won't get through the steel. So it has the advantage. Designed for piercing play. The 
Lutraki bu onda yaşıyor şöyle daha kofis. Ama. Arm. Armor. Emek aman. Rus. Slow. Slow. It's true. It also keeps a man alive. Abi ne yazı var lan o ladiyattan? Ne yazı var lan? Madikar asi adı kuvazar. Ana Richard me evi ladiyak o on hakızı. Ne de trak koyu on torka kalibar. Nasıl ne bir yeri zor andali? Aş mı layık olur? Still is. Man a great honor. And I betrayed him. Kalisti zalam eme adaka esin axacalan. Bugün oyma vizi. Bu mu vizi ve kocine? Esas lo elegri ha anhan. Muri ala yafi ma yicin elegra. Aşırı ti lo elegri şi vi kisi. Bu mu vizi bu elegra. Aşte ve kisi nahli yerun. Aşte. Ma cin jano. Ana reki san jani. I don't think she wants to be dog. The Kalisti have baby inside her. It is true. She does not bleed for two moons. Her belly starts to swell. She does not want to eat horse. I love the boys butcher a goat for supper. I need to ride to Kohor. We ride for vast do track. Don't worry, I'll catch you. It's easy to find. Don't stand so still. It's hard to take a moving target. It's up for you. If you move too much, I can just hold my sword out and let you do the work for me. Have you seen Lord Tyrion? Eight. No. Nine. All of them brief. Now they say the winter of my birth was three years long, Mr. Eamon. The summer has lasted nine. But reports from the Citadel tell us the days grow shorter. Starks are all right eventually. Winter is coming. This one will be long. And dark things will come with it. We have been capturing wildlings. More every month. The fleeing south. The ones who flee say they've seen the White Walkers. Yes, and the fishermen of Lannisport say they see mermaids. One of our own rangers swore he saw them kill his companions. He swore it right up to the moment Ned Stark chopped his head off. The Night's Watch is the only thing standing between the realm and what lies beyond. And it has become an army of undisciplined boys and tired old men. There are less than a thousand of us now. We can't man the other castles on the wall. We can't properly patrol the wilderness. We barely enough resources to keep our lads armed and fed. Your sister sits by the side of the king. Tell her we need help. When winter does come, God help us all if we're not ready. Sorry to see you leave, Lannister. It's either me or this cold, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. Will you stop at Winterfell on your way south? I expect I will. Gods know there aren't many feather beds between here and King's Landing. If you see my brother Bran, tell him I miss him. Tell him I'd visit if I could. Of course. I'll never walk again. If you're going to be a cripple, 
It's better to be a rich cripple. Take care, Snow. Farewell, my lord. You are late, boy. Tomorrow you will be here at midday. Who are you? Your dancing master, Sirio Forel. Tomorrow you will catch it. Now pick it up. That is not the way, boy. It is not a great sword that is needing two hands to swing it. It's too heavy. It is heavy as it needs to be to make you strong. Just so. One hand is all that is needed. Now you are standing all wrong. Turn your body side face. Yes. So. You are skinny. That is good. The target is smaller. Now the grip, let me see. Yes. The grip must be delicate. What if I drop it? The steel must be part of your arm. Can you drop part of your arm? No. Nine years, Sirio Frel was first sought to the Sea Lord of Bravos. He knows his things. You must listen to me, boy. I'm a girl. Boy, girl. You are a sword. That is all. That is the grip. You are not holding a battle axe. You are holding... A needle. Ah. <laughs> Just so. Now we will begin the dance. Remember, child, this is not the dance of the Westeros we are learning. The night's dance. Hacking and hammering. This is the Bravos dance. The water dance. It is swift and sudden. All men are made of water. Do you know this? If you pierce them, the water leaks out, and they die. Now you will try to strike me.
chuyện gì với hai người vậy Còn nghe có tiếng chửi, tiếng xin lỗi, tiếng thét đau đớn Bố nằm vật trên sàn nhà như con côn trùng bị rỗng chết Con tim bị xé nát tiếng khóc như tiếng cười Tuyệt vọng và đau đến xuyên tim Ông ấy muốn nói với mẹ để sau cuối Cậu xin mẹ đọc những dòng đó và Bà đau đớn và cố gắng yêu thương ông dành cho mẹ Xin lỗi mẹ Ông ấy thất hứa nhiều lần rồi Đặc biệt chuyện mở cửa hàng như mẹ ơi Ông ấy yêu nhạc nhiều như mẹ vậy Ông ấy viết để cứu đi chính ông Chứ không phải lý do nào khác đâu Xin mẹ ông ấy không phải là người thiếu ý chí Mẹ đã không đọc đúng không Ông ấy đã suy sụp rất nhiều Tại sao mọi chuyện lại thành thế này hả mẹ Những bức ảnh ông ấy vứt Tờ vẽ chỉ cũng vứt Những thứ liên quan đến mẹ ông đều vứt Riêng con Ông ấy yêu con rất nhiều Nhưng buộc phải cho hai đứa đi cũng Không muốn nhớ tới người đàn bà làm ông thất vọng ông gọi là vợ Con biết ông ấy không phải là người muốn tốt có vô tâm, có lơ đãng chẳng bằng người này người kia như mẹ muốn Mẹ ơi ông ấy có cố gắng mà Ông luôn biết ơn mẹ Mẹ vẫn ở đó Bên ông ấy cái danh tối tăm đó Mẹ biết mà Nhưng sao giờ mẹ lại đi Nếu không bên nhau được những tháng ngày trẻ dài Thì cũng được bên nhau lúc đủ đầy Ông ấy nói vậy Còn chỉ vào những vết nước đẹp đẽ trên nền trời xanh Bố thì hỏi bao giờ điếu thuốc sẽ tàn Hãy để mọi thứ ở lại Những nghiệt ngã và chéo ngoe và thắc mắc cùng ước mơ Tụi con sẽ mang đi hết Con tin bố làm được Con tin vào đôi mắt của mẹ Căn phòng chỉ có vậy thôi Muôn màu vỡ hết rồi Tụi con yêu hai người Lợi con vứt xóa